Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the Bard's Tale 4. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today. I don't think I have quests to do up here. I do have a companion. Two companions. That I must get. Because we are only three right now. We lost... This? Do I only have 13? I only have 13 health. Okay, that's fine. More trouble for Alguin. Hasn't he had enough? What are you referring to? My friends, we meet again. We do indeed, and uh, you say the same things as before. I'll see you see later. You soon. Yes. No idea to require for. Yeah, I know that. Ooh, we can change this. Look at that. That's one thick piece of cardboard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's let's get our new companions. Hi. I got the tokens. What is it? No. I have the things. I uh, yes. Right. Let's talk. Well, I guess we're having a bard, first and foremost, aren't we? Let's go right ahead and do that. And that's our archetype, then our culture. What would that be? So we can see that uh, gain one bonus skill at level 3, 10, and 18. Uh, over here, tall and powerful people have a legendary ability to hold a grudge, plus one strength for the remainder of the fight once they're struck. It's not really what I want for my bard. The Ficti are fiercely protective of their friends and family and will give life for them if need be. Once per battle, the Ficti will absorb damage from an ally that would otherwise be killed. No, that's pretty good. I like that for the bard. That's pretty good since the bard should be out the back and all this sort of stuff. Um, I'll, don't I have that in my main character? Outlanders, and I keep forgetting that uh, as well. Outlanders may come from a variety of cultures. They do all share a common struggle. Their trials, they... That's a... Beautiful sword right there. Uh, immune to poison, fire, and bleeding. Uh, okay, dwarves cannot be stunned, rooted, or forcibly moved. Plus one spell points. Elves have 30% uh, more intelligence. And the trow uh, opportunists. And uh, I really like this one, actually. Uh, th it just means that it's for a character that... Uh, for damage dealers, this is really good. That's n We're not going to go with that. We're going to go with a Ficti over here. Do your worst. Do my I will do my worst. Uh, let's you don't scare me. Come on! Run along now! Oh, it hurts me just to look. Why are you even tr- You have no- Who wants a piece of me? The I'll take you all on! <laughs> I will go with that. Uh, it's very loud all of a sudden, but I'll, I'll go with that nonetheless. Um, Samson, that sounds like a lovely name. Let's go with that. And then our skills, we have music. Uh, hot cross runs. Every bard's first instrument is the, is the simple but portable musical bone. So I have that already. Uh, Troubadour novice. Ooh, I have no idea how this is going to go. I want something that's passive if you can. Uh, or buffer, maybe. Yeah, having a, having a bard be for, buffer, for buffs. Let's see. So if I have brewing, what is this? That's for recipes, okay. And then I have Battle Brewer, uh, gain three spell points and four stacks of drunk. Um, max drunk stacks three. What, what, what? How do you have, if you gain four? Okay, defense, we might not go with that. How many points do I have? I have nine points, that's lovely. Okay, so let's see. Maximum spell points, that's apparently something they cast and it looks like it because we got those blue little icons. So that might be good, maybe not actually. Uh, if you refund one, you will no longer have enough skill points to spend across tier one. Are you sure you want... Yes. Why you... Shut up. I... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Rhyme of the duo time. Reduce all ability cooldowns in your entire party by one. That's really nice. And it can allow us to do some nice things at the beginning of combat. Unless I don't start with two spell points. Uh, also, look at that, it's got a cooldown of 2, so it might be that we don't cast it at the, at the start of combat, which is kind of a problem, but that's just handy to have. Let's see, target foes are shrunk, reducing their strength by 50% for one turn. Just one turn? That's not that great, actually, but let's just maybe do that. Oh, so that's what that means. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see, stance. This is a stance? Any enemy who strikes you and nearby protected allies with a melee attack, take two physical and is set on fire. That's interesting. Maybe it's going to be better later on. Uh, channel 1, grant one spell point to all nearby adventurers. I like those two. Intelligence, I like that as well. Uh, honestly, I don't want that. Okay, I'm not going to go with that. Let's go with attacks and see what we have. 
So what are we gonna focus on? We got axes, we got bludgeons, we have swords. Sure, let's go with swords. We got uh, novice for the head knocker. That is specific for... Mm, I don't know if that is specific for... Uh, um... Yeah, bludgeons, right there, it says bl bludgeons. Uh, and I got a swordsman novice over here. An extra one strength, which is nice. Um, let's see, constitution, chainmail. So if you go this way, you go light armor master. And we now have everything, right? I think so. I think we gain the thing. And I'll keep one. Can I do that? I suppose I can. And then we have equipment. Which, that's all my abilities. It's quite a lot of abilities right there. Somebody's tuning their, did you hear somebody tuning their instrument? Um, I suppose that's that, really. There's no option to do here, it's just finalize and finish. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? You will not be able to make any progress. You will not be able to make any further changes, sorry, to this character's act type culture. Yeah, uh, and that's that, how I want it, yes. Thanks. No problem. Now get. I'll get. Uh, so we need a frontliner, another frontliner. Uh, so I'm gonna keep you over here eh? and Pardon. right there. May I pass? What? Pardon? Huh. Positioning is an interesting thing. Positioning is an interesting thing. We're gonna need to figure that out for sure. Uh, he's very injured. Let's look at your inventory here. Look at your mastery book and uh, remove all these. Can I remove all these? Apparently not. We got shop, which I don't really need. We have sanctuary score. Uh, give an allied combatant and shield with a five constitution. Uh, the allied combatant will be healed for two if the shield is broken. That sounds lovely. Let's go with that. Then over here we have uh, reduce all ability cooldowns. That's one that I want. This over here is for the channeling to add spell points. Stance any enemy who strikes you and your nearby protected allies will gain, uh, will take three damage. And then over here we have the Storm of Blades that deal two physical damage to the first enemy in range. Uh, but he's a backliner, so it's sort of not necessarily what I need. Uh, he also has a hatchet, which is definitely not at all what I need. Can he use that? No, you can't. Can he use any of these? Yes, you can. Look at the hat. Lovely. Um... So this is better, yeah. Do you like this? Heck yeah, you do. It's not as good, but, you know, as a sword, I suppose. The sword would give the criticals. Uh, no chance to get the offhand right there. Can't you wear these? And everything else. Well, we do have the ARP. That's the one. So we have our... Our... Maybe I don't want this to give to the... Um, I want this to give to my main, main liner. Um... Yeah, our bard done. I was missing the uh, the name of the class. Okay. So, excuse me. I need more. What is it now? I'm more, more, just more. So we have a fighter. We have a rogue. We have a practitioner. So I need another fighter, I suppose. Uh, and it's gonna be a uh, a sword focused fighter, maybe, or bludgeon focused fighter. Eh, either way, it's all fine. Let's see. Culture. Do I want a dwarf? Uh, cannot be forcibly moved. That sounds lovely. Yeah. The trout would be also pretty decent. Uh, is there really a benefit to that? If I want this to be my main uh, damage dealer or one of the damage dealers, eh, I'll go with this. Um, so that's that. Then. Come on. How can. When all this is over, I'll be pulling your teeth out of my boot heels. Let's go with that. Uh, and uh, we are going to go with swords, I suppose. We. Do no, actually, you should. We should go with bludgeons. The problem is, I think this skill is already had by uh, I don't remember his name, uh, which is kind of a problem. Critical hit bludgeons. Yeah, let's go with bludgeons on the last. This is for bludgeons, and the axe is for the other one. Great swords. I'm sure these would be fantastic. We're not going with that. And then we're going for medium armor if I can, which I can. Uh, shield novice. Critical block shields. Shields critical 10% uh, chance to completely block a physical attack. Oh, yeah, that happens every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sense of purpose. These are all things uh, that you can do. Sk uh, skills and all that. Let's not go with that for right now. Uh, and let's get constitution up there. Uh, and I'll go with shields. There it is. And then we are ready 
for that. Uh, I can finalize. Oh, interesting. Well, I didn't want that to happen, but it did. Apparently, if we click that, it just, you know, just destroys that. Uh, so, shields, bludgeons, there's nothing else, right? Yeah. Okay, then defense over here, we have that and that. And then we have passives, and that, and that. And now I need to finalize. How do I do that? How do I do that? What happened? Hmm. That's curious. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and that's basically that. I didn't actually look at your name. Brewhall, that's good. Okay, confirm. And, uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so that's also another problem. So I, I didn't get the... I didn't get the thing, right? Yeah, I didn't. So I can... Oh! Okay. That's what happens when you press escape there. Waste my time. Well, then that's my... Eight? That's Sorry. my party right there. We can only have four. That's okay. I suppose. For right now. Good. We got trinkets. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. We need to figure that out. Let's get over on this side. Let's also save the game just in case. Uh, and also to heal, as it turns out. We also need to go in specialized, so they're gonna do that in a little need bit. Need something? Uh, yes, I need you to look at these things and see if anyone is better than your current one. So you have a healing potion. Uh, what is that over there? Elixir Focus. Gains one spell point. That's for himself or not. Uh, battle ready. Throw a vital, a vital acid at the target location, creating three bile puddles for la the last two turns. Targets caught in the acid puddle are lit on fire. That's pretty good. Uh, then we have... Can I use the scroll? Will? I don't think I can. We got something over here that's not as good. We have nothing over there. Let's just look around. Yeah, we have this, of course, but... Um, I'm not going with that. I suppose I should, actually. The intelligence instead of the constitution. Maybe I should. I mean... The problem is, is it's a rusty axe, so it kind of sucks. Um, but, yeah. Okay, and there's nothing here. Gotcha. Okay, next. Yes? You. You. Do you have anything? You got this. Okay, but that sucks. Gotcha. And then over here we have this. What is that? Deployable barricade. Summon a barricade with 28 constitution. I want you to have the healing, because that way I can do healing if I need to. Uh, there's a little bit of a thing over here. That's not really necessary. Then on this side, we have nothing either. We have a an armor. That's the, basically the same thing as yours. Uh, and we have that for sure. Then you. What do you have? What is that? Tankard. Gain spell points. It's free, apparently. Spell points by drinking a magical booze from the inventory. Chugging also grants drunk status effect. That's interesting. I kind of want that instead, though. I mean, I'm, that might be a terrible mistake, but I do want that instead. Uh, let's see. So we got all of that prepared. And we got some axes, but... Ooh, that's just mu much better. I'm so sorry. I used the wrong weapon. It's all fine, I suppose. Uh, let's see, so nothing here. We got these bones that are the same, except for the ruthless mockery that the harp has. Uh, and then the helmet over here, that's not as good. Then for you, you can use that, that I don't need. You have a potion for spell points, which is only fitting. You have this one over here that is not as good. And then, I don't think we have anything else. We got an axe, but not really. Oh, this adds more strength. Not really what I need. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna sell the rest of the stuff that I have over here, uh, unless I can't. Hi. Oh, hi. Well. Let's see what you have. Okay, I think I can. So let's sell these, because now I know what they are, easily enough. Uh, and then sell all these. Uh, I'm gonna keep that tankard. Can't wear this. I'll sell. Uh, or sell that. Okay. Is there anything else over here? That's basically the same things. I don't need any of that. Uh, and I am... I could get some of these things. I'm just gonna confirm. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Drinking, friend. Thank you very much. Let's go downstairs. And let's specialize. So, this sage can save the world? Maybe. Only if he's freed. Excuse me. And Hi. Welcome back, adventurers. You have returned to us because you seek more knowledge. 
Let us see if your recent actions merit it. You have aided friends of the guild in their pursuit of justice for the downtrodden. This is a worthy deed. It is the opinion of this board that your actions have earned you the right to further knowledge. Congratulations. You are free to advance. Great. Thank you. Is that all? Welcome again, Ad Once more, you return to us for knowledge. You have completed no great act since the last farewell, adventurer. So that's what that means. Okay, so we just unlock the new things. Need something? Yes, I do. Uh, let's see. So you're going with... We have bludgeoned, which is kind of bad. Can I not respect that? Can I not refund that? I wish I could. Aw, that was stupid of me. That was really bad of me. I mean, it might come in handy now, but that was, I just, mm, not a big, not very happy with that. Uh, so we have one extra strength over there, one extra strength, one extra strength. Seems like extra strength everywhere. I can't really do much from here. I have heavy armor, novice, and medium armor, journeyman. If I want to stay with the medium armor, which I kind of don't, that just adds constitution. Plus three, I suppose it's not plus one Into on top of that, it's plus three. Uh, we got some armor class over there, which actually I like that a lot. Uh, quick reflex, 10% increase of critical chance with shields. Yeah, do you do have shields, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that and then go with that. So that's you. As for me, mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I get extra strength. So I got killer. Uh, so basically I have nothing here for scraper, scrapper, that's a type of assault, but what type of weapon does it use? Swordsman, critical hit, bows and daggers, yeah, that's what I use right now, I suppose, let's actually check. No, I have two long bows. Is that right? I don't know that that is correct. Oh... You can only have the one. Gotcha. That's important. Uh, barbed edges. Barbed edges, critical hits with daggers and bows abilities. Uh, cornered bat. 20% increased chance or critical chance for each dead ally. A flurry of blows. That's for sword. Okay. How do I get... Assassin. That's more or less what I need, actually. Let's see what we have. Hitman. Death cap potion. Don't need that. Extra strength over here. Rain of Arrows, that sounds lovely. Let's go with that. Okay. Then for you. What do you have? Greater Soul Lich. Uh, we have ourselves a... Uh, what, where where do I want to do eventually? Grand Sorcerer, Archmage. Oh my god. Deal plus one damage to each spell point. Possesses when the uh, ability... When, the, uh, when attacking with spells. Grand Sorcerer, what actually does that do? We gain plus one spell point whenever an enemy gains a spell point. That's interesting. Uh, summoner over here. Summon beings have plus four armor. That's lovely. I like that. I will go with that. We'll go with summoner. We're gonna have a summoner in our midst. So I need to go there. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And, uh, I'll actually... I don't know if that's the last one, but I'll look at her mastery book. Yeah, so that's a new thing. So what do I want? Do I really want to gain one spell point? Not really. Let's put that away for right now. And that's how, that, uh, how I go. And then, we have you. Now, you're a singer and all that. You probably need a little bit of defense as well, but you already are somewhere around that. Uh, and we've got some brewing as well. I suppose I want that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hopefully be good at this with this. I'll see you guys later. Um, I need to go to the... Uh, just many places. Uh, let's actually look at our journal here and look at our quests. I don't need that. Uh, the Holy Path. We have we have some things over here, so let's see. Um, unfortunately, Jay doesn't open this bit. Uh, so if I track the quest... Collect Paladin, Captain's Belly... Uh, no, Belly. Let's go outside. So, yeah, I'll, I'll track the quest from here. Because I think that quest we got like a while back. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of areas that we haven't seen down here yet. Uh, we might even be able to figure out the, that little tricksy puzzle that we have close by. The one that we're hearing right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. There is one thing 
that we didn't have when we came down here. What's that? Stay out. Yeah. Uh, one thing that we didn't have, which is this stuff, but it doesn't open these things. But it might open things back here. Now's the perfect time. Everybody's out of their houses, left all their valuables behind. But what about the monsters? The monsters! But if we get eight, we'll yeah, be it's the same conversation. Uh, I got these before, didn't I? I suppose. Leather armor, two daggers, full plate, yeah. Loot tuning, yes. Okay. Hi, guys. Let's check back here and see if we... Stay still. If we you figure out a way rest. to open these bits. Getting a very spooky soundtrack. Okay, as you can tell, there's... I can't do anything here. Because these don't activate. And now we know what those do as well, which is great. So let's go Put this way. So I can save over here. Oh. That's Hopefully not too late. I hope we're not too late either. There it is. Well, I guess we're going in. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Let's track this quest instead. Is that where I need to go? I think it is. Let's not go there. Okay, is that a friend? That seems to be a friend. Not very vocal, are you? No. Good. Just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Stony. Hello. Hello, young'un. Admiring the standing stones, eh? Well, they ain't just to look at. At least they didn't used to be. There's circles just like these all over Keith. And in my day, if you stood in one and whistled the right tune, why, well, you'd be whisked off to any other circle you fancied. We called it the High Road. These days, though, only this one works. T'other's been knocked down, overgrown, or become the lairs of evil beasts. But if some young adventurer was to seek them out and put them right, well, the old High Road might just live again. Who knows? You already know the whistle that wakes up the stones. Do I? It's the same as got you into the Adventurers Guild. Uh, we adventurers took it for our own when everyone else forgot it. Great. Okay, teleporters then. Let's give it a shot. It's uh, the uh, trust of others. Ah, there. Well, there it is. What else do we have? I guess that's that. We have a teleporting thing. But I suppose we can't really teleport right now because all the other ones are broken. Hi. There it is. Yeah. You've learned it. I did. May it serve you well. I, I suppose. I, I hope I hope I don't die. It's mostly I'm mostly concerned with the dying because the traveling is easy. Ugh, that's Alguin's imp, Crux. Oh, he doesn't like it. Okay. Okay, just exploring everything. Friend, friend. Good day, Crux. Major Alguin is in trouble, yes. He doesn't say anything. Oh, he does now. Mage Alguin is besieged by fiends! Hurry! This way! Uh. Wait a minute. What? I have that? Well, I... Mm. Well, that's that, isn't it? Sure, whatever. What else do I need those those tokens for? Right? If only to, you know, at least I have some more people. I don't know how to activate them, but... Oh, right. You can't fly, can you? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know a song. I'll teach it to you. An old dwarf song. I'm Crux, by the way. Yes. Mage Alguin's familiar. Um, the song is called The Stone Remembers. It goes like this. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll figure that out in a little bit. So, also, I need to level you up, most likely. Eh? Not necessarily. I might need to give you some skills. Not skills, I guess, but uh, some equipment. I don't think I have anything for him, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure him out. So let's sing this thing, shall we? There. Good as new. 
Now follow me, but be careful. The place is crawling with goblins, trow, and evil men. Evil men. Ooh, what is that? What is this? What's that supposed to be? I don't know what that song is. Do I know? Is that a song? I don't think it is. I don't think we also can fall down into the things. Let's go and enter the cellars of the Kikarian... Ki no, Kilirian Ki Tower. That's 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 some loading screen right there. That promises. Okay. Oh, it's the first thing we see. Is it safe? That's an offering statue. Used to be used to placate the gods. Now every two-bit sorcerer uses them to lock secret doors and so on. Put the right things in and ta-da! The trick, of course, is figuring out the right things to put in. Which means we'll be here all day. So that's how they work. Okay. My dearest apprentice, I can only assume that you have come back from the market to find the doors block, uh, before you locked. Yes, I know, you hate the puzzles and tricks, but they will push you and grow your mind. Hopefully you can uh, make it to me before I fall asleep. Good luck, Mage Alguin. Postscriptum, sometimes the best way to move forward is giving up the right thing. What is the right thing? Hi. Oh, we can save from there. How nice. Okay. I can do something with this. There we go. And we have a grappling hook. Is that the right thing? Because it's on the right. We have a stag. What else do we have? Soup, water, and rotted food. Okay. Oh, something back here? Oh, that's the... Yeah, of course. Oh, also we have a level up already. What can I do for you? Hey. Yes. Huh? Did you level up already? That's lovely. Yeah, sniper master. Okay, that's good. That means you have the rain of arrows, which means you don't need that, which is great. Well, which is bad, but I get that instead. Okay. A verse to while away the hour, be you lord or be you vassal, to see three sides of Kyleron's tour, find the square of Harkon's castle. Excuse me. A verse to while a, a verse to while away the oh. hour. Be you lord or be you vassal. To see three sides of Kyleron's tour. Find the square of Harkon's castle. Okay, so that is the riddle right there. And these are offering stones as well. Uh, but I don't think I need to give him the arm because that sounds that's pretty simple or maybe it is supposed to be simple I don't see the oh quest items hmm okay well it's fine um so we got two offering stones push the block find the door win the silver square of your oh wait a minute they have different riddles Oh my god, the ones above, we need to figure them out. Let's see what this is. Lay down your arms and follow the path of peace. Well. But not that one. Aha. Okay. Good stuff. So you, that was just meant to be a pun. So you have all of your arms, and that is probably an enemy. There is little to challenge us here. Enemies, attack! Well, there is a little bit of challenge here, because we have two spellcasters right away. Hey. So I have Slinking Assault, which does a lot of damage. Uh, let's see what uh, you can do here. So you can do Lumbering Strike, which is a channel for 14 damage. Can also tongue. Good steel and a good arm never lost yet. What was that? Let's go with that. We got four. Oh yeah, of Ready. course we, we have four. 
Uh, okay, so if I want to do this one for free, oh, that is good enough. I could do the Rain of Arrows. Deal 8 physical to all enemies dealing the marked squares. All and That affects everyone. Right? At the start of your next turn. Hmm. Okay. Can't do the loose arrow. But I can do that. Yes? Okay, and then we have... Uh, I need to look at your thing. Ah! Wait a minute, that doesn't apply... Deal 8 physical to the first enemy in range and move at any... Oh, 20 back row. But you need to be at the front. Oh, that sounds... That's terrible. I... Okay, you can't do anything. Me. You can't do anything there. Uh, so... Can you move... No, no, no. Not that. What do you want me to do? You are in the way! Did you move to the right spot? I think so. Fighting dirty. That works. Okay, I need to look at his uh, at his skills because that is a weird skill set right there. So I don't like that. I prefer. I definitely prefer that. What is this thing? War strike? Yeah. Uh, oh, I prefer that to this, and that's how I go. Okay, perfect. This looks lovely. Oh, it looks lovely. But we're out of time for the day. So we're going to have to gawk at the loveliness. And also, I saw that. What is this? Oh, it's a quest item. Yes, a perfumed note. We could expect it. What was it? Oh, yeah, about these. Uh, why is it perfumed? Hmm. Didn't notice that the first time around. But anyway, we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Bard's Tale 4. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.